the Sugden Clock Tower is a signature part of the FGCU campus. Every day at noon, it plays a few songs, such as the alma mater, Edelweiss, and Take Me Out to the Ball Game. There are several lists of possible songs the tower can chime for students. Puff the Magic Dragon even made the cut. The tower came to FGCU in 2003 and was dedicated to the Sugdens for their commitment to education and Southwest Florida. It has been playing music ever since. But the question still remains, are they real bells? Is there a secret stair that leads to the top of the clock tower? Members of the FGCU community had some theories of their own. Inside the clock tower, there's probably, a, uh, probably some kind of device that plays the, the music. Some um, MP3 player or something that's hooked up to some fancy speakers in there? I don't, I don't know. Their theories aren't too far off. The answer to the mystery can be found in the Office of Student Affairs. The staff members of the office are the ones who access and control the clock tower. Tucked away in a storage closet is a black box that controls anything the clock tower plays. Because of the variety of tunes the clock tower offers, some members of the FGCU community have requested certain songs to be played on special occasions. We have had faculty or staff ask for, you know, certain songs for... Uh... March 17th, uh, Oh Danny Boy, and we were able to pull it off. It was kind of fun. The tower can get quite loud when it plays the songs and when it tolls to signal the hour. Are there members of the community who aren't so keen on hearing the bells? There have been some complaints in the past. Last year, I think it was, we got some complaints from the folks nearby uh, about the time schedule that the, that the clock was, and we adjusted that. Uh, and we haven't heard any complaints since, so I think we, we took care of that. Just about everyone can recognize the time by glancing at the tower, but upon closer inspection, some students have noticed a unique aspect on the face of the clock. The Roman numeral 4 is seemingly incorrect. Hale has the explanation. And I, I called the Von Bergen Company, who's been in business since uh, the 1850s, I believe, so they've been around for a while, um, talked to a, a clock expert, which uh, I am not, and uh, he claims that uh, that, that Roman numeral uh, clock that's the way the, the, uh, the numbers are portrayed. And I actually did some research myself and I pulled this, uh, this Waterford crystal clock I had just to check that they, to see that he was correct. And as you can see, the four is, is written in that way. What do students and faculty really think of the clock tower? Does it have a purpose? The consensus seems to be the clock tower adds a pleasant touch to the campus. I kind of like a clock tower to just tell me that it's, you know, either the hour or the half hour. Um, but through a little ditty is always interesting. It, it adds a little charm and um, some sound because it's awful quiet besides the construction. Once that goes away, it'll be even more quiet. So I like it. I think it's charming. Andrea McCrary, reporting for Eagle News.